What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So I'm currently in the process of making up a little Temperio Essence. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. We need one more piece. And we're halfway. Well, we're three quarters of the way to our next piece. There we go. All right, let's turn this off. We don't want to go too crazy right now. We just need seven of this Temperio Essence. Yeah, getting that RF Tools Tier 3 Crafter to do that automatically for us. So nice. I like it a lot. So... Uh, a while ago, we made this the VCO furnace, but we can upgrade this to another tier. We have the ultimate furnace that we can upgrade it to. That requires 7 Temperio plus the extreme furnace that's sitting on uh, to upgrade it. So let's look at doing that. In fact, I'm probably going to want to make myself another extreme furnace because these are good, uh, especially since they run just off RF power and they have the advanced ore processing so we can double ores or whatever. Like if we put the nether ores in there, we can get twice the amount of vanilla ores that we'd normally get. So yeah, having these other ones is very, very useful. So I'll probably end up making another one of those here pretty soon. Uh, let's go ahead and break this guy. We'll break this guy. And then, yeah, this is all going to be moved. Like I started getting to the point where I was going to move some of these machines. Like I got rid of some of the ones that are over here. And I was like, well, if I move them and then I'm going to need them, I'm going to have to set them down again. We don't have a spot. Anyway, we're going to have to figure out the perfect spot for all these machines here pretty soon. I'm kind of getting annoyed with them just sitting around like they are. So, we want Ultimate Furnace, I do believe, is the name of the Flower Furnace. Uh, there's an Active Ultimate Furnace. What is Active? Well, either way, this is the only one with the recipe. So, let's make this one, Ultimate Furnace. There it is. So, that completes a quest that we've had going for a little while now. We'll go ahead and claim this. And we still have a few of Batania things left before this section is done. We also have to make the floral fertilizer. I guess it's more botany stuff. And then a little bit of the Pam's Harvest Craft. I guess that's what these recipes are. Uh, yeah, anyway, those aren't like super important to do right now, but they got to get done for us to 100% this mod pack. So we'll be looking at that sometime soon. Okay, so Ultimate Furnace. This thing is really, really nice if I remember correctly. So we set it down. One mini coal in there. Remember, you get eight mini coal for one piece of coal itself. So I believe with that, let's grab, I don't know, cobblestone. I think that smelts something like either four or eight stacks. And it's like really fast. Uh, how much? I just grabbed compressed cobblestone. Let's grab regular stuff. You know what? I'll grab some of this and uncompress it. There we go. That's a little better. All right. So I got what, like five stacks on me. Okay, so let's see how fast this furnace is. Ultimate furnace, one mini coal. That's pretty quick. Let's keep stuff in there. Let's keep stocked. Let's just see how much stuff we can. Maybe it's just four stacks, but it just melts things so fast. Like, it's so, so good. Oh, is it done already? Okay, so we got, like, three stacks is what that looks like that'll do. I messed up, and it didn't get a chance to melt everything. But, yeah, like, three stacks off a mini coal. That's really efficient. I like that a lot. And it's one of the fastest, if not the fastest, it's one of the fastest ways to smelt items in this mod pack. So we'll probably end up making a few of these things for later on when we need a lot of stuff melted for our auto crafting. Yeah, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay, so we got a loot chest here. Let's us open this. Come on, mouse wheel. All right, so we got witherproof block and then we got witherproof glass. Both of which is okay. That's a Cazador reward, I think is what that said. Uh, I don't know if we need this stuff anymore. Yep, I just don't know if we're going to need that. <laughs> uh, we have the nether star seeds that we still have to get hooked up, but we do have the nether star seeds. I believe we needed awakened draconium to do that, and there were some other things in the way for us to do that. But anyway, I don't know if we are going to be needing to kill the wither boss with witherproof glass, especially since we have hardcore wither boss mod in here where the wither boss can potentially just warp out of a box. Anyway... Uh, so we had some things that I wanted to work on today. Uh, so we have our resources down here. Where am I? I got lost. <laughs> resources down here, which we've been collecting from our sieves. So we got things like blaze powder turning into blaze lamps. We got bone meal bags that are coming from the bone meal. Uh, redstone, we don't have a way. Uh, or, I'm sorry, we have this coming from the dust turning into the block. We don't have a way, though, to unblockify these. So we could set up a plate Energistics to go through and auto-decraft, auto I guess, these blocks. I think it would be better overall just to put them into compacting drawers. So we have both the block and the, I guess, the coal chunks, the coal pieces available 
if we need either one of those, right? I think that's just a better option. Why do I have... It's weird how I had one upgrade in there. Um, now that's being filled full of this. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, something looks like that might be messed up. I'm not sure why that... We have an anvil in here. Hmm. What is going on over here? All these things are backed up. Maybe these things filled up. I'm not sure. Uh, I did turn off the power. So maybe that might be part of the issue. I turned off the power for these things. So nothing would be going over here. I guess these were not locked is the problem. So now we're getting random items from our ME system coming in here. Yeah, I think we need to lock those. We need to stop items from coming in and lock it up and fix that issue. So let's do that right now. We'll set this to extract. So no other items go in here. We need to get ourselves our key, uh, drawer key. We gotta take the items that are in here out. Stacks and stacks and stacks of that stuff. We'll lock these because we don't want anything else going in there. Do we have anything else weird? No, I think that's probably it. I guess I could just remove those drawers and solve the problem completely. But yeah, everything else should be locked here. Uh, so I did add a drawer controller onto this thing finally. Previously, we had made this whole setup before we even could make drawer controllers. So we had conduit, item conduit going in the back of each individual one of these things so yeah there was no way for an item to go into these drawers because there's no conduit there but now we have the drawer controller so things are free to go into these different things we just need to lock the ones that we don't want stuff going into but anyway that should be all solved now so we can set this back to insert and all the items that are supposed to go into the correct drawer should go in there okay is this overflow yeah oh my goodness what did i do i made a mistake here uh, yeah, like I said, I turned off the power, or at least I thought I did. Yeah, I turned off all the power here. Uh, just because we weren't really needing this stuff anymore. I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe that was a mistake to do in that, that way. I was thinking if we cut the power, everything would just shut down and there'd be no problems at all. Nothing would back up, but I guess some things retained a little bit more power than I thought they would. Uh, anyway, that's something we'll have to figure out. Anyway... Uh, I want to get compacting drawers in here so we can replace our storage drawer that has all the redstone with a compacting drawer. That way we have access to both the redstone dust or we have access to the full block. That's what I like to do. Uh, I've already started making up some compacting drawers over here. Yeah, we got about 15 of them looks like. Made up a few of them so we could start replacing some different things. I was almost thinking we could do things like the, not the charge, but I guess the uh, Certus Quartz block over here. I forgot we had all of this stuff because it was all in the block form. So if we need to craft something with the Certus Quartz, we can't find it because it's not looking for the blocks. Uh, we also had like all this dust and stuff that we need to get done. Anyway, uh, Electrotene was another one. Uh, we have to make the Electrotene alloy ingots a lot. So that means we have to deblockify this stuff to craft it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start swapping out some of these different things. I'm not sure if glowstone will work because it takes nine pieces of glowstone in this mod pack, not the normal four, so it might not convert back and forth properly. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Let me get some compacting drawers in here, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got the compacting drawers in the place where the compacting drawers need to go. Uh, again, we can't use the compacting drawers with everything. Only certain items that convert from a regular item into a block form in this mod pack. A lot of those have been disabled. So, for instance, uh, emeralds over here. Normally, you put nine emeralds in a crafting table to make a block. You can't do that in this mod pack. That's been disabled. You have to melt them down the smeltery, cast them out in the casting basin, and then you can disassemble the block into the into the emeralds themselves, but you can't go back to the block form that part of the recipe has been disabled so yeah you can't convert between the block and the emerald itself with the compacting drawer because of that uh, another thing i found out the glowstone when that is put into the compacting drawer it looks like four glowstone still turns into one glowstone block and one glowstone block turns into four glowstone otherwise if you want to make a glowstone block you have to use, or I guess it's block of glowstone because vanilla, block of glowstone. No? Is it just called glowstone? <laughs> uh, this one. Yeah, I guess it's just called glowstone. Otherwise, it is nine glowstone in a crafting grid to make this. 
Uh, but yeah, the compacting drawer still knows how to do the original recipe. So yeah, four equals a block in there, which is kind of cool. Uh, the only problem is with this setup over here, we're having the glowstone dust go directly into the compactor, which only knows about the nine into the one block. So anyway, we're losing out a bunch of glowstone by doing it this way. I might fix this. We might not even be touching this anymore. I can't remember if we have glowstone seeds or not already set up in the or a 10, 10, 10 or whatever. Uh, but anyway, for everything else, yeah, we got the uh, compacting drawers set up here. So this is quite nice. I like it. Uh, so a thing that I'd like to do is we're going to start disabling the images on these things. We don't need to look at them. Like, we don't care. We have access to all of this stuff through applied energistics. So if I need, I don't know, iron ore dust, I can just search for it and pull it out of the main ME system without having to come over here and look for it. So if we click the controller that turns off all the icons and that should help out with a little bit of the frame rate issues and just extra things that are need to be rendered around here. So that'll help out a little bit. We can boop these three over here as well. There's no reason for those to be displayed. I don't have these hooked up to a plate energistics, but we have other ways to make uh, gravel and sand. I don't think we need dust for anything, uh, not anything anytime soon. And then also, I did put another compacting drawer over here a little while ago. So we're collecting a lot more cobblestone than what we had before. So you can see on the tooltip, it says we have 18,764 double compressed cobblestone. That's a lot. Anyway, we'll go ahead and boop that one as well. Turn off the icons for that. Is there anything else that we need to do? Hmm. You know, we still have all the drawers over here. And I don't know what kind of a difference it makes. See, if we get back far enough the icons on those things kind of like go away right here they disappear so i don't know if those have any effect on our frame rate in the base <laughs> uh because these are being rendered or whatever but they like are so far away that they're not running anyway we'll just turn those off we'll just get rid of the icons just to be double sure i think we can do the same thing with these drawers this is the drawer or these are the drawers i guess from the stuff that we're getting from the loot bags yeah, we haven't needed those for a while. Uh, I don't have these connected to applied energistics, but honestly, we haven't had to come over here to get anything for quite some time. I think the last time we were over here getting stuff was like these kinds of things for the HP plus. I don't think we, or I guess the health plus, I don't think we need that stuff anymore. But anyway, we'll leave that there. We'll turn off all the rendering of the icon, just to be doubly sure that that's not affecting anything around here. I would like to slowly but surely try and clean up additional things we have around the base that are potentially hurting frame rate. It feels pretty good right now, to be honest. I think we're getting a pretty steady 60. So maybe some of the problems that we were having were those compact or the uh, the storage drawers down below rendering the icons or whatever. But yeah, like I said, it's feeling pretty good right now. So I like that. All right, guys. So one of the things I'd like to do is get another ME crafting terminal put up over in the last millennium. So when we're there, we don't have to warp all the way back here and then go all the way over to our terminal to get something and then go all the way back because that's annoying, right? Uh, so the ME crafting terminal uh, requires a lot of different things here. This recipe looks pretty much default and we all of these things are pretty easy. The ME terminal does require an inventory panel, though. The Ender IO inventory panel. We only made one. So, right? Did we have another one? No, we only made the one. Okay, so we need to make ourselves another inventory panel. That does require a sentient ender, and that is made with a witch and a soul vial, plus a resonant, uh, I'm sorry, an ender resonator to make these things. Now, we only have one witch. I did collect one at one point. So if we search for which we can find this see it has six out of 26 health so i must have snatched it out of our mob trap as it was falling uh it took a little bit of damage but yeah we do have one so what i'm thinking we're gonna do i think witches are gonna be something that we'll need a few of because i'm pretty sure we're gonna need more than one resident or ender resonator in the future so let's make ourselves a powered spawner for witches that way we can make all of the witch soul vials that we need Okay, so that is our next task. So, powered spawner. Uh, we did one of these a few episodes ago for the zombies, but yeah, we're going to do one again for witches. So, we need vibrant crystal. Do we have that on auto craft? We don't. Okay, so what does it take to make a vibrant crystal? That is a player core plus vibrant alloy, and all these things we have available now. Um, let's grab... What have, oh, the pen right here. 
Uh, let's grab all the stuff that we need to make one of those. Okay, so there is a recipe to make player cores. We'll make one of those and put it in the system so we can tell the system to make this. And we'll put that into the system as well and we'll craft one of those. Anything else that we're missing here? Let me try and craft this and see what it says. Okay, so we don't have machine chassis and we don't have Franken zombies. Okay, so the Franken zombie, I believe, is uh, we need two silicon. Uh, we're going to need one redstone. I think I probably better look at the recipe. <laughs> two silicon redstone. We need solarium and a zombie head. So I did uh, kill a few more of these. I was going to say fine. I did kill a few more zombies with our cleaver over in our zombie spawner thing over there. Uh, so yeah, we got those. Solarium, we have plenty of those, 18,000 of these things. We had all those blocks. Yeah, now they convert automatically for us. So that is super convenient. I do like that. And then we need the slice and splice, these guys right here. And there we go, Z-Logic. Okay, cool. So to turn that into the Franken zombie, we need a soul vial with a zombie in it, which we can easily get now. We have these two, and I think these are our zombie villagers. But anyway, let's grab a soul vial. Now, a cool feature about these spawners, if you guys didn't know, the Ender IO powered spawners. Give me that block. <laughs> yeah, you can set this from spawn to capture. And if you set it to capture and you put in a soul vial here, instead of spawning zombies, it'll just fill a, a soul vial with one of those monsters. Uh, or actually, let's do active with signal, and I'll just turn it on up here. Okay, so it looks like it's spawning, looks like it's doing stuff, but the only thing that's going to do is just fill a soul vial for us with a zombie. So that's pretty awesome. So that doesn't remove the zombie from the powered spawner. Like, this is still a powered spawner zombie, right? Um, we got to set that back if we want to do anything else with it. But yeah, that's a cool way to get zombies and soul vials. So I think that's something we're going to do with these witches. So we just need to make the powered spawner for the witch. And then we can set it up to put soul vials through. Yeah. And get witches that way. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Okay. So now we need to put this through the soul binder. So there's that plus the zombie. Ten levels. And there we go. Okay. Uh, so there's our Franken zombie. And then we also need the machine chassis. Did we have one over here? I don't remember. We do. Awesome. So I think that is practically everything we need. We do this. Oh, we need vibrant crystal. That's fine. So let's put that away. Right now, we're just going to tell the system how to craft this. Okay. And then in the future, we'll hook everything else up. So we should be able to do this pretty much automatically. All right. So powered spawner. Make one. Do it. Cool. All right. So there's our powered spawner. All right, so now we need to get ourselves a broken spawner. Uh, we have a few tarantulas. That's fine. Tarantula with the witch in the, I think it's the soul binder over here. That also requires just a little bit of experience as well. Uh, so we'll give it that. Oh, that requires a lot of power too. I forgot. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. Uh, but that's fine. We got like 9 billion RF <laughs> being stored right now. So we have all the power. Now, the other part of this, as we saw before, is it costs like 300 XP to put the uh, the spawner. Let me just kill this guy. Yeah, it costs like 300 XP to combine the spawner with the powered spawner, So, or the broken spawner with the powered spawner. So we need to uh, make sure we get all of that on us. So there's 200 and 300. We still have 748 levels remaining from our... Just our little mob trap over here. That's pretty awesome. So setting that up a long time ago with the XP obelisk on there, definitely something you want to do. Okay, we're also going to need that anvil that we saw earlier that was down in our storage drawers where it shouldn't have been. So put that down, power spawner, plus this, 300 levels, and then we make a witch spawner. Okay, so there we go. Now we can make all the witches that we need whenever we need them. Uh, we just have to provide this power, and I don't know where we're going to set this. I guess I could set it uh, down here next to our power cell for now. I know this isn't ideal, but let's do that. We'll set this to capture, put that in there, and, and there we go. It's doing stuff. So this says that we're using 66,000 RF per tick, and this says it uses 80,000, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. 
all right so we could also put in the octatic capacitors in fact we might want to do that so that process happens faster but it will use more rf protect now another thing i don't know um if we have that in there and it's on capture mode and it's not able to capture anything because there's a soul vial in the way if that still uses power or not i don't know how that works is it still using power I don't think that's using power because it can't do anything. So let's put this in there. That gets full. All right. So this says we are gaining 14,000. Now, if I take this out, I'll start capturing a second one. And now we're losing about half a million RF per tick. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of power. Uh, but there we go. And we have a second witch. So we don't have to turn this off. This is nice. So we could set up a bunch of these things. To always have one available and then when we need one we can pull it out of the system and have it for auto crafting so that'll be really really nice for later for now we'll just leave that down there we only need the one witch soul vial all right so let's go back and take a look at what the rest of this recipe was so the emmy crafting terminal did require the ender io inventory panel so we needed the sentient ender which is ender resonator so solarium Vibrant alloy, Enderman head, silicon makes this in the slice and splice. Let me get to that. We'll make all the different bits and pieces. We should still have uh, nutrient distillation from when we had the thing before. Yeah, 77 buckets of it. We're all good there. Let me just go ahead and craft it up and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So in keeping with the theme of our applied energistics wiring, I went in and I replaced this cable right here that was just the Fluix color with the white color. I also made patterns for that so we can craft that automatically. All it is is just eight of this uh, Fluix cable. Yeah, eight of these with a piece of bone meal in the center. We have like over half a million bone meal right now. So yeah, not a big deal at all to set up an auto craft for that. I don't really know how to put this terminal. I kind of want it over here. Uh, in this general area, the problem is the whole bottom of this thing is bedrock. And I don't know what happens if we remove some of the bedrock. Like we could do, I think the dark oak tree trick still works in here where you could grow the dark oak tree and get through the bedrock. Like people used to do in vanilla Minecraft to get to the nether roof ceiling. Um, I think we could do that, but I don't know if this has to be bedrock. And it might be kind of an ordeal to do that and not destroy any of our other applied energistics stuff here. Hmm. Anyway, that's something to think about. So the easiest thing for me to do was just to stick this guy right here. So it is still a white crafting terminal. Uh, and then we need to, I guess, get rid of the surrounding stuff so we don't see down to the void, right? Cause that looks kind of bad. Uh, so what we can do for that, I guess we have to go back here. Oh no, we can do it right here. What I'm talking about, we have access to our stuff. <laughs> uh, so we need to get ourselves some cable anchors. So four of these around this chiseled stone brick, which used to be where that thing is. And that gives us four of those. I think we can just stick that right like this. Cool. So now you don't see anything around the block. It just looks like there's a crafting terminal in the center. I like it. I, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, and then we can go ahead and put these other things away. We don't need all this other stuff on us. Yeah. The nutrient distillation, I thought that that took two buckets it only took one so i made a second bucket of it and it consumes a whole bucket during that recipe too which is too bad i guess but that doesn't really matter anyway this whole thing yeah that was done pretty quickly and yeah the rest of that was just pretty simple to make but yeah this is pretty awesome now we have access to all of our stuff here in the last millennium when we're working on our farms or whatever i need more crop sticks yeah previously i had to warp all the way back go to the terminal make the stuff warp back go all the way over here again now all I got to do is just come over here, grab the stuff. It's so much better. It'll be way better later on, though, when we have that wireless crafting uh, terminal. But the recipe, we talked about that before. Uh, the wireless crafting terminal in this mod pack. Uh, wait, is that the correct recipe? I thought this was... Maybe this got changed. Hmm. When I tried to make this previously, when I played this mod pack, this was an extreme crafting recipe. I guess it does require 16384 Emmy storage components to make. Yeah, it's a lot of glowstone ingots and stuff. It is quite expensive for where we are right now. I don't think we can craft nearly any of this stuff. Maybe it wasn't an extreme crafting. Maybe it's just required these and that was just a lot of stuff. It's been a while since I played this pack the last time. Uh, yeah, but I could have sworn that was an extreme crafting recipe. Hmm. 
Maybe they changed the recipe. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't look like it's extreme now, so we don't have to worry about it. I guess I forgot to talk about this. I did add in a, I think a couple more, maybe it's just one more of these uh, crafting units since the last episode. I know I just put this one in before I started recording today, and maybe I did both of those since the last episode. I can't quite remember. But anyway, our auto crafting is coming along quite nicely now. We can craft a lot of things quite quickly, which is amazing. Uh, so let's see. For the rest of the episode today, we don't have much time left. I thought we'd just go through and kind of look at the quests that we have left that need to be completed, or I guess the ones that are complete, and claim those rewards. So yeah, we had some for the, like the storage drawers, and then I also did this one off camera. Just make a few of these extra chips that we haven't made uh, in our assembly table. So I did get this one done. Let's claim that reward. Uh, we got storage drawers. We've been messing with this stuff a lot. Yeah, I did the compacting drawer, and we've done drawer controllers, but the compacting drawer was the one I think that was holding us back why we never claimed that previously, so we'll claim that one. I also did make a energy trash can, and I don't think I did that for any other reason than just to complete this. We've done plenty of trash cans in the past, and then adding the energy thing for it was not difficult at all. So we'll just go and claim that one. Oh, and we also need the upgrades, all these different storage components. I have all of these on auto craft now. I don't know if I told you guys that before. Let's look. So if we do upgrade, uh, we can see, yeah, all of these different things. So if I wanted to make the emerald upgrade, we got five of them. If I want to make, I don't know, like three of those, like the crafting for this goes pretty quickly. It's already done. <laughs> yeah, like our crafting situation is pretty much under control now, which is amazing. I like it. Okay, uh, let's go continue on here. We still got a few more things to claim. We'll claim that. Uh, yeah, these are done. Delta section. So I did claim a few of these. I think Signalum unlocked when I had some Signalum ingots in my inventory. And then, like, we had all these other things pretty much made. And then, yeah, just unlocked them all. So let's claim them. These are not things that are new. These are all things that we've been working on. We just never got these things unlocked. I think the signal required having like a bunch of 12 in my inventory at once. I think that was kind of like holding us back. A lot of these look like they're just 12. And this was the craft of six of these uh, flux crystals, which is, I think it's a diamond and a certain amount of redstone. I can't remember how much. But anyway, we got those done as well. Uh, anyway, uh, we need XP obelisk. That's another one that we had done. I guess we'll do bottles of enchanting. Bottle of enchanting. I don't know why that's a reward. We also got one for conduits over here. Man, we got so many things to claim. Just been, need a clean house. Just been letting them go, not collecting these things. Do we have anything else? Yes, some of Planet Energistics one. So we'll claim these. I mean, interface, claim that. There's so many more of these things that we're going to have to go through at some point in the Applied Energistics section, like all these different discs and stuff and more of these crafting things. We don't even have those unlocked. <laughs> Hopefully these aren't crafting tasks. Hopefully those are just have them in your inventory kind of a task. Okay, I guess that's everything. Okay, so let's go through and open up some of our loot chests. We have so many of these things. So alchemical coins, that's just EMC for later. Uh, Zenai ring, we've gotten that one a couple of times before. More lands from Bibliocraft. We got uh, stuff from Agricraft, different irrigation channels and whatnot not super important to have right now but early game that would have been good uh chunk loaders are good we've gotten that i think the last time more walruses we get enriched alloys those are really good we've seen how expensive those are in the past basic bin not so good artifacts what do we get for that artifact a quick stone trinket seven percent speed yeah i guess that'd be okay uh chance cubes Printing press, typesetting table, ink sack. We get BFESU, this thing right here, right? And then what was the other thing? I clicked off there too fast. I guess the electric heat source, so we could set up another one of those. Um, yeah, the furnaces, so that'll be pretty awesome. And then more lens of velocity and efficiency. All right, guys, we're going to go and wrap the episode up here for today with a crazy looking stars in the sky. They're going to come into alignment any second now. It's going to be super awesome. I don't think it does anything, but it just puts all the stars at one little point. Ah, there it is. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.